more st static electricity here, right? Yeah. yeah. That's when you can shuffle across the floor and the copper floor and take your sister or your brother on the other and shop. That's static electricity. This thing here builds up static electricity. That piece is still going to change it out. All right. do quite that much because it's not steam, is that right? Now this one will do how many since it's not steam? It's, uh, it's capable, of, it was capable of doing a 200 copies per hour. It is, okay. It's an electric motor. It's going to stop you with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's Laid up backward there. That's the ABCs. Yeah, they're in there too. They, they seem to come out right sides up, I think, once you uh, you can't put them backwards down on. But yes, you can. The B is not <laughs> turned the right way. Can you well, the whole top of that line, you, you can't read it that way, but you can read it once it's flipped over. See, once the front come off, you can see what's, what. So they have to put it in <laughs> backwards in order to make it. It's kind of like looking in the mirror image. Exactly, exactly what it is. Yeah, you put makeup on your face. What is that Christmas song? Yeah, you know exactly. Exactly. What's the Christmas song? It's a missing letter in there. The letter's missing. What's the Christmas song? Yeah. Huh? L. Are you saying no L? No L? <laughs> oh, cool. There's no, There's no L. L. That's a Christmas song. We're going to give you a copy of this. That is cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah, yeah, it's a song. It's for all of us. I'm going to get y'all an alphabet to go with you. Uh, Okay, I got three of them. Let's go go with your paper there. Each one of them going to have one in the paper. Let's, uh, let's read these right quick. Let's see, what time is it here? It's 1.50, I mean 12.54. 54. Oh, we're going to have time there. I don't know what time he's going to do the switch, and, uh, but we got another group. Y'all be going. Uh, okay, I'm just explaining to him about the telephone wave that you're right here in this corner here. Oh, yeah. This is the telephone. This is how this operated during that period of time. Who invented the telephone? Edison. It's in. It's on the print shop. Alexander Graham, Graham Bell. Bell. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's who invented the telephone. Okay. This this is a switchboard. This the way it would operate. Would have operators. She would sit here in this little small chair, sitting right here, and she's talking to this. And when you wanted to get her attention, this is how you would get her attention. She got she sent to the switchboard. She got all the numbers of everybody. They come in, uh, they've got a telephone in that area. So she's able to take in uh, 10 calls at one time. So she's sitting there up to the place that she's waiting to let somebody know she wants you to call. So this is what you would call off. No numbers or anything up here, but the way you would get her attention, you put this up to your ear, and you would talk into this. 
And to get her attention over there, she'd be sitting here watching this switchboard right here, keeping her eyes on that all the time. And so when you want to call somebody, watch that switchboard, what would happen? That flag would pop out like that. So she pulled this down and she said, number please. And he cheated. First thing she did was plug him up. Then she said, number please. She had these on. It's the operator. She's coming into there. She said, which number? So he said he wanted to call somebody that was uh, right up above him right there. So she hooked it up into that, like that, and rang that number like that, and that number would ring over in that room like right that where she was at. Cool. That is cool. Up, they would talk. When they got through talking, she'd be sitting there waiting for them to finish talking. And the way she would know they was through talking, would he rang off. He rang off and that tail would pop. She said, well, they off there now. Did you feel like that? Like that, flip the switch, pull that back up. She ready for another call. She could handle 10 calls at one time. She had five on this side, five was coming in, and she had five on this side that was coming in. So she could handle 10 at a time. During a busy time of day, she'd probably have this thing all switched across there and everything, but that would be the switchboard, and that's how they would take it. I don't like to see that. That was pretty much, you'd see these in, uh, in large motels. It was, uh, I think you got a 85 numbers on this side and 95 on that side. But this was back then in 1894, and this, this is how they did it up until Benjamin Franklin had to get off of his, uh, his patent. He had a patent to do just like this and keep it just like that up until 1894. After that, his patent was up, and then it was able to people to come in and improve on his invention and do a little bit better than he was doing. As you can tell now, they're about as big as a, a box of matches and everything. Right. And, you Let's can, have, and you can call anywhere you want to call. Exactly. Through, any time of day. Let's, uh, you, you, we'll read these articles later if we've got time, but uh, where would that come from? That's, that's the one, right? This was, That was a calculator here. This was uh, where well, they would put the numbers oh, into it. Else? Had a pad on that one, too, and that was... Uh, All right. Which one is this here? Yours. All right, okay, we'll put that back in there. Print your first name and your last name right here. These will do the same little thing as these. Right here. First name and last name. And bills and everything. We was, uh, we was sitting there looking at this paper here Friday. And, uh, this paper here, this is a 1789. Uh, no, 1786. Wow. Now, if you could read one of those sentences in there, you'll see what they didn't have. A, they weren't using the F and the S back during those times either. Instead of an a S, they would put an F in there. Huh. You may be able to find it somewhere on, on one of those lines in their clothes. Oh, why didn't they have it? Well, all the way up to the 1800, they didn't have the J or the U. Or the U. And are the F or the S? Right. This would have been right about the turn of that century when they started coming up with it. But this been a 1786. This was when they went to develop it. But you'll see them use the S in some places, but you'll see they got an F in there in other places. Oh, that is neat. I think uh, 